Okay, today I got the, the 2000 Player Sportsman 500 in the shop. Uh, it's uh, having a starter problem. So uh, that's what happens when you try to start it. Gonna take this apart, do some checks. Uh, pretty sure I got a bad starter, but uh, gonna do some checks on it just to make sure. Okay, first thing you gotta do is take the seat off. Then you gotta take the side panel off. Kinda gotta be a little rough with it to get it off. Uh, then I'm going to uh, check the starter solenoid for the voltmeter. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the voltmeter to the battery. I got the negative on there, got the positive on there, and uh, make sure I got 12 volts at the battery. And uh, it looks like it's got over 13 there sometimes. So the battery's got 12 volts. Now I gotta check, uh, I'm gonna check the starter solenoid and see if uh, 12 volts are, are going to the starter. Now to do that, I'm gonna hook the ground to the ground on the starter. I don't know if you can see that or not. Make sure it's got a good ground. And then I'm going to go to the the post on the starter solenoid. Now this is this is not the the post where the battery goes to. This is the post that goes to the starter. And I'm going to turn the machine on and uh, I'm going to see. Now we're getting looks like about seven volts there. But what that tells me is Okay, there we go. Okay, that tells me that uh, power is being sent to the starter. So it pretty much says uh, the starter's junk. So the starter's getting power, but it's not starting the, the full wheel. So the, that says the starter solenoid is good and the starter's bad. So the start taking that off. First I'm going to unhook the battery. Okay, the battery's unhooked. So now I gotta unhook the positive cable and the negative cable from the starter. Okay, now the starter on this four wheeler is right there. And I gotta take off the positive cable and the negative cable, which the negative cable is on the mount. And uh that's what I gotta do next. Okay, what you wanna gonna wanna do is you wanna remove the bolt here on this this uh, air cleaner or whatever you call that. Pull this out of the way, and uh, you've got more access to your starter here, and you can see that second bolt down in there. Okay, here's the old starter come out. Um, I actually had to get behind here because this has got an O-ring seal. I had to get behind here on the other side with a screwdriver and pry it out. And then I had to do some wiggling and squeezing and prying. I actually had to pry on this a little bit to uh, get it to come out. So be prepared to do a little prying and pulling 
to get this out. Okay, before I put that new starter in, I'm gonna wipe out the hole that it goes in. Clean it out. Then I'm gonna look at the teeth in there. Make sure uh, the teeth look good and they all, the teeth do look good so. I'm uh, gonna set it in there. Uh, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little WD on the O-ring to uh, lube it up a little bit. And I'm going to, I'm gonna put the bolt on this one. This one right here. Before I slide it in there. And this is gonna take some finesse and take some time. I probably won't be able to record this whole thing. So. Okay, looks like I got the, I got the teeth lined up. I've uh, got it pushed in all the way. Uh, put my negative cable on that. I'm gonna get these bolts started. The other one's gonna be fun down there, getting that one started, but. Okay, I got uh, both mounting bolts tight. And let me tell you, the one down in there is uh, tough to get to, but you just have to work through it. Uh, now the battery positive cable gets put on here. Just using a gear wrench, 10 millimeter gear wrench. Okay, I'm going to do a test fire here before I put everything back together. I'm not sure. Sounds like something's hanging up, but... It's been so long since that starter worked. I got a feeling that might be a little rusty or something in there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy with being able to start it, so I'm gonna button everything up. The okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Put the plastic covers back on all the all the positive cables have uh, plastic covers, so I'm going to cover them all up. And then this plastic cover goes back on. These uh, bolts are actually all 10 millimeter. Uh, everything I touch, the starter bolts, this bolt here, the battery bolts, everything's 10 millimeter.
Okay, then the plastic piece goes back on. Kind of got to work this in. Kind of odd. Kind of got to be forced. Oh. Looks like I'm being rough, but that's the way you got to be. Put the battery cover back on. Battery strap back on. Seat back on. Starting to work now. Okay, here's the tools I used for the job. A couple of screwdrivers, a 10 millimeter gear wrench and then a 10 millimeter quarter inch socket with an extension. Pretty easy job. Uh, didn't take me long, I was filming, so it took me a little longer. But uh, not too bad of a job. Starter is uh, kind of making a funny noise, but like I said before, it's been a long time since that starter's worked. So, I'm thinking it's uh, just got to be war in or something. Uh, I'm not really worried. This, this four wheeler does have a pull start, and that's the way we were starting it for a long time. Finally, got sick of pull starting it, so I got a new starter. I'll run this one till it. Uh, Till it goes, and uh, I'll guess I'll report back if, uh, if it quits or something. So there you go, a uh, new starter in a 2000 uh, Polaris Sportsman 500.